I never really think about uh, the intended audience or, or how many words or which words I'm using. It, it's more important to me to just be authentic and true to whatever the book is. And then I leave it to my publisher to figure out who it's for. If they're, if they're saying I want to publish your book, I trust that they have an audience for it. So with Dog and Bear in particular, once I figured out who Dog and Bear are, then I knew what they would say. And since they are, you know, at least young at heart, I'm not sure what their ages are exactly, but they're certainly children at heart, then the vocabulary just, it was just natural. And, and there were times when I changed what I had written because I think, or Neil would think, or we'd both think, no, 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 bear would never say that, or, or dog would never say that. That's too, that's too formal for dog. He's much more happy-go-lucky, you know. So the important part in a, in a, in a book about uh, recurring characters in particular, or even characters in just one story, is to really know those characters. That is the key.